Hello and assalamu alaikum. Sarah the Musafir here and I have reached my surprise new travel destination and today I'm going to take you guys to Chandni Chok. Not the one in Delhi. I'm pretty sure I'm not allowed to go to India but this is behind me the Chandni Chok of Fremont, California. That's right. I am back in my old hometown where I grew up. This place has changed so much from when I was growing up. We literally used to have like one Indian grocery store and one, I think, or two restaurants way back in the day. And now this has the highest concentration of Indian and Pakistani restaurants and stores and, you know, even shopping. And so every night of a little food truck bazaar, I have extremely high standards when it comes to chaat. I'm like a professional chaat lover. Um, and so we're going to see if it lives up to my standards. Let's go see what they have. I'm hoping there's pani puri and I'm hoping the lines are not too long. We came on a week night, uh, no weekend, so it's probably going to be busy, but let's go check it out. Okay, I didn't go far before. I already found a food truck to stop at. So, thank you. These are very good. The tender, the filling is really tender. It is very good. But it's not like um, as spicy. Like she was like, it's spicy, okay? It's not spicy. It's still really good though. Hang on to your It's jar time. Hi. Hi, do you have a Golgappa Pani Puri? Yeah. You do? Okay, how much is that? Okay, I'll take one Pani Puri. Uh, one Dahi Puri chart. That's it? Okay, and that's it, thank you. So our Pani Puri is ready at the same time as our chart. Our chart is here too. And so now I'm not sure what... I think I'm gonna go eat that first because it's ready and it's live. So there's five different flavors. Mint, Katta Mita, Kala Katta, Pineapple and pomegranate. Yeah, I'll take uh, Katta Mita. Yeah, thank you. Can I get uh, one more for my sister? Yeah. Thank you. Katta Mita? Oh my god. Thank you. I can't do this. I can't do this. No, hold on. Mm -hmm. No one's good. One more. One more katta mita, please. I just made an entire big mess and dropped like bunny booty water all down the front of my scarf. But I guess it's a good thing I have like five maroon scarves. So now we're gonna try the rest of the shot. And my sister actually got what is it? Honey chili potatoes. So we're gonna try those next. And this is the dahi, dahi puri chaat. So it's not papri, like usually I love papri where it's just like slightly crispy and tangy and sweet. And But I think they've taken the golgapas and just put chaat inside of it. So it looks a little bit soggy. Mm. Underwhelmed and disappointed. What is this place called? Food carrier. That was like the least whelming chart I've ever had. Chart is supposed to be like this like punch in your taste buds overwhelming experience and it was just like it's not just not just because it's mushy like the flavors too it was not mirchi it just tasted like dahi yeah right chutney. yeah chutney not even chutney I need some mirchi maybe it's like my taste buds are accustomed to Karachi levels of spice now oh the kids are gonna love that 
honey chili potatoes. These are so good. It's like potato wedges, but dressed up with all sorts of like chili garlic sauce. And well, I think the track was a little bit disappointing, but memos were pretty good. The chili, honey, honey chili, honey chili potatoes, also delicious. And it's so fun. It's so nice that like, you know, in the space of 30 years, the landscape of Fremont and the food scene has changed so much that you can get pretty much food from anywhere within the Bay Area and even within Fremont. Like you can get food from anywhere in the world and it's often just like really, really good. The diversity here is kind of unmatched. I wanted to try the chole bature, which are like perfectly crispy, fluffy fried dough. Like how can you say no to fried carbs, right? So we are gonna try the chole bature before we go to our last stop of the evening, which we can't leave without. So that's coming up next. Oh my gosh. Whoa. Perfect. Chole, dig in. I wish the chole were just a little bit less salty and a lot more spicy. I think I should try it with achar. They gave achar and yogurt as well as the chole, the chickpeas. But pretty decent chole, I think. They're like really not bad. The puri is like fantastic. This this puri, the fluffiness of this puri is just like spectacular. It's really good. It's crispy and uh, fluffy on the inside and crispy and hot on the outside, exactly the way it's supposed to be. It's so good. So the right thing to try here is definitely the chole patore. It's actually also the first item on their menu. So definitely don't skip the chole patore, but definitely do skip the dahi puri chaat because that was sad. This makes up for it a little bit though. Good job, thank you. So we just left the Chani Chok area and are walking through the parking lot across over to um, the chai spot called Deccan Morsels. Yes, it is a Hyderabadi place and they have a bunch of really, really authentic, amazing Hyderabadi food. I had a chance to try it last time I was here in California and just walking across and I came across along the way. It's called Apna, Apna Mandi. And it's this ginormous Indian busy grocery store. Look at the produce section. What? This is what people do in Fremont on a Sunday night. We do our groceries for the week. And why wouldn't you? Like this place looks popping. Oh, curry patta plants. Oh my gosh. So cute. Look at the baby one. I want to take it home. <gasps> There's a pomegranate tree. Wow. Right now we're on a mission for chai, but I'm gonna add this to my list to come and explore this grocery store. Yes, I have officially reached, it's so big, it's all the way till here. Yeah, I've officially reached that age where I get excited about grocery stores. And I am for sure one of those people that considers going to a grocery store in a new country like a cultural experience in that country. It's heck of fun. So maybe I'll bring you guys back here. finish off the evening I am gonna have Irani chai. Irani chai is um, I don't think there's anything even remotely Irani or Persian about it it's just a kind of very cooked masala chai that is uh, popular in Hyderabad it's a Hyderabad kind of specialty so I think there's they might put a little saffron in it I can smell like the tiny tiniest bit of, of, of saffron in here so so let's I now make better chai than this Sorry, Dick and Morsels. Your Lokmia are fantastic though. I, um, it's very sweet, it's, it's rich, but 
I kind of make better chai than this now. Who knew I could make better Pukivi chai than restaurants? There's a nice milkiness to it though. There's something about the milk and I th the hint of saffron in the background. It's very nice. Um, so I also uh, was talking to somebody who was also waiting for his food. He's from Hyderabad and he said their dum biryani is as good as biryani in Hyderabad. So I think I'm going to have to come back to Deccan Morsels because they now offer biryani. Starting just last month, they started offering biryani, dum biryani. Oh, yes, uh, goat and chicken. So we will have to come back and see. Although I think I'm going to cry about having to play, pay almost $20 for a plate of biryani. Oh, really? When I can make a good one at home too. Or my mom can make a good one for me. Or my dad for that matter. In all, a very nice evening. Happy to be back in Fremont, Alhamdulillah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you next time. Um, definitely please don't forget to subscribe because I'm gonna be showing you guys my life in California and lots of fun and different and interesting places here in and around the Bay Area. Thank you once again, Assalamu alaikum. Until next time, follow Musafir. There's like, I think a dirty sock down here. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to touch it. Apna mandi. Oh. Oh my God, it's hot. <laughs> I'm burning the back of my throat. Here you go.